All right, so we're going to look at today's lesson, which is lesson 8.2. 8.1 was incredibly easy. 8.2 is very similar. I mean, all it talks about is equal shares. Equal means every si every piece or every part is the same size, okay? So, four friends share two. Let me get this set up. Four friends share two small pizzas equally. What are two ways the pizzas could be divided equally? How much pizza will each friend get? So how might the two ways be different? So there's four people and they share two small pizzas. How, how might the two ways be different? Well, they could be cut different. They could be, let's say split. They could be split differently. So these, they could be split differently, okay? This is how they're split. Because it's going to show us a little bit more when we go down. So it's down here at the bottom, it says, draw two circles and show the pizzas, okay? And we know there's two pieces of pizza, so there are two pieces, and they cut it into four slices. So let's say we know we have four friends, and let's say each person is going to get one piece of each pizza. So look, let's say let's use let's talk let's use Brett. Brett's going to eat this piece of this pizza, and Brett's going to eat this piece of this pizza. So Brett ate one piece of each pizza, all right? And if I would just take this piece that he ate and just color it in over here because he's going to get two pieces of pizza, look how much he actually ate. He ate a half a pizza, hint, hint. So we know that there are four equal parts in each, okay? Well, actually, they're not four equal parts because there's two pieces of pizza. There's eight equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight equal parts. Each friend can have two equal parts. What's each friend will get two eighths of all the pizza. So that's right. So let's say Brett eats this piece and this piece. Well, he ate two pieces out of eight total. You can't say two out of six because that says Brett ate two pieces, but and there's only six pieces. Brett actually ate two pieces out of eight, okay? McKenna would have ate two pieces out of eight. There's two friends. Caleb would have ate two pieces out of eight. There's three friends, and Willow would have ate two pieces out of eight. So if Willow ate two pieces, McKenna, Caleb, and Brett, two, four, six, eight, that would make up the whole, the whole amount, okay? Now, we know another way that there are four friends. So they divided it into four slices. So now there's one, two, three, four. So each friend would, instead of getting two pieces now, they would get one piece. But it's actually the same. They equal the same thing. So Brett would equal eat one out of four pieces. McKenna would have one out of four. Willow would have one out of four. And Caleb would have one out of four. And look, one, two, three, four. These do not change. You don't do four, eight, 12, 16 because... We're not adding any more pieces of pizza. They stay the same. They, they, she ate one out of four. He ate one out of four. She ate one out of four. And he ate one out of four. So that, that's a good way to look at it. And even though Brett may have had two out of eight over here, one out of four over here, if you color it in, it's actually would be the same thing. One, two, eight, and one, four are the same thing. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So it says four girls share three oranges equally. Draw a quick picture to find out how much each each girl gets. So we have to have three circles for three oranges. That's what it wants us to do first. One, let me see if I have an orange. Make it, make it a little bit more realistic. Good. So one orange, two orange, and three oranges. But there's four girls. So we got to separate this thing into... Force because every girl wants a little bit of that orange. So I'm going to separate this one into fours. 
this one in the fours, and this one in the fours. So I went from having three whole oranges to three or four, three fourths. Three whole fourths. That makes sense. So shade the shade the part one girl gets. So one of the girls is gonna eat this piece. And let's say this girl eats the same piece on each, because they're each gonna they're gonna share all of them. So one girl eats this piece and she's gonna eat this piece on this one. And she's gonna eat this piece on this one. So how many pieces did she eat? Three pieces. Out of well, how many pieces were there total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So she ate three out of 12 pieces. Okay. Or you could say, if she ate the same on each, she actually would have ate one out of four. Because she ate one out of four, one out of four, one out of four. But that's another, that's another topic. We'll talk about that another day. But three out of 12, she ate three pieces out of 12 total. The next one. It says, Melissa and Kyle are planning to share one pan of lasagna with six friends. They do not agree on the way to cut the pan equally in parts. Will each friend get an equal amount using Melissa's way or using Kyle? So, there are six friends, Melissa and Kyle. That's six, seven, eight. That's eight people we got to serve. Okay? Eight people. Now, Melissa says, you cut it my way, everyone's get the same. And Kyle says, no, cut it my way. Everyone's going to get the same. Well, is that true? Let's look at Melissa. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And Kyle has one, two, three, four, five, six, eight pieces. But they look different. Would you rather eat a piece that looks like this or like this? Honestly, I'd probably eat Kyle's. But is Melissa wrong? Because these parts look pretty equal to me. So will Melissa's share and Kyle's share have the same shape? Obviously, no. Definitely not. These are more rectangles. These are more squares. These are long rectangles. Well, their shares, shares using, well, their shares using either way be the same size. Well, actually, yes. Because even though this is divided equally and this is divided equally, they look differently. But this one, if I would cut it in half right here, would be the same size. So instead of cutting it straight down vertical they cut their horizontal and even though they don't look the same they actually are the same size so they will get they will get an equal share using either way no friend is going to be cut short no friend is going to be cut short i'm sorry that equal looks bad let me see if i can write it better Equal. Explain why both ways let the friends have the same amount because they split it. Because the well, honestly, because they split both. Equally. They split both equally. If Melissa, I'll give you a second. Pause it here if you want to write that. Well, you need to write that, honestly. If Melissa would have cut hers, you know, here and then here and then here and then here and then here, that would have been equal. She cut her in equal parts, but she just cut them a lot differently. She gave people long pieces, but they're still the same size. All the way across. And they don't look like they're the same size as this, but they actually are. So because they split both equally. Next one says, two friends share four oranges equally. Use the picture to find out how much each get. So there's two friends. So I'm going to split all these into two pieces, what are called halves. So draw my line. This orange is now two. This orange is now two. And this orange is now two. And this orange is now two. Let's say, um, let's say, uh, Jackson is eating one side, and we're going to say Troy is going to eat the other. So if Jackson eats the left side and Troy eats the right, Jackson's going to eat 
one, two, three, four pieces. And Troy's going to eat one, two, three, four pieces. But how many pieces do we have total? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Jackson or Troy will eat four out of eight pieces. Four out of eight pieces. The next one says draw lines to show how much each person gets. So eight sisters split three egg rolls. Whew. All right. So we got to do split it into eight. So it's when you draw a line, it makes two. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know they're not equal, but we're trying. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's say eight sisters want to eat this. Well, each sister is going to get one piece. So if you see, if one person gets one piece here, one piece here, and one piece here, they've ate one, two, three pieces out of, instead of going through and counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm just going to do eight pieces times three. And I know eight times three is going to be 24. That's where multiplication comes in, guys. Then we're also dividing. But that's where multiplication comes in. Three out of 24. Now it says six students share four bagels equally. I'll be honest with you, I have a hard time splitting into six, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do straight down and X. And that's that. Let me fix this one just a little bit. Good as I can do. So a little X, straight down. Some of these pieces are look a little bit bigger, but we'll make it work. I think it's six is the hardest one to split. So six students share four bagels equally. Well, one person is going to get one, two, three, four, four pieces out of how many pieces total? Well, we have six times four, which equals 24. Give me a second to copy that. All right. This one says on your own. It says three classmates submit uh, share two uh, granola bars equally. Remember, we have three classmates, so each one's going to get a piece. Two, three. Two, three. So each person's going to get one, one piece. So take one piece from each. One, two, two. Out of. One, two, three. Four, five, six out of six pieces. Four brothers share two sandwiches. So I'm going to split it into four. And each, per, each brother is going to get one, two, two pieces. Or two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The way I'm figuring out two is, let's say brother one gets this half, so one's going to get this half, two's going to get this half, brother three's here, and brother's four here. How many number ones do you see? Two. How many number twos do you see? Two. Threes, two, fours, two. We know that there's, and up here, sister one, sister two, sister three, sister one, sister two, sister three. How many pieces is sister one going to eat? One, two. Okay? Draw to show how much. Each person gets shaved the amount. So eight friends share four sheets of construction paper. So we got to draw our construction paper. One, two, three, four. And we're going to divide this into eights, which is going to be hard with a marker. 
So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I know these don't look that equal, but it's super hard with, but try to make them close. And you can see what we're trying to do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, I should do it like this. I messed up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why I did it the way I did it, I do not know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's say friend one gets the top left piece. He's going to get one, two, three, four. I'm kind of shading it in. He's going to get four out of how many? I have eight pieces. I know there's four in each. 24. There's still pieces correctly. P I E C E S. Next one. Four sisters sh share three muffins equally. We have three muffins. Muffins are a little blocky today. And we're going to split it into fourths because there's four sisters. They each want a piece. Okay? They each want a piece. Sister one's going to get this one. Sister two's going to get this one. Sister three is going to get this one. Sister four is going to get this one. So, sis, how many pieces sister one going to get? One, two, three. Each, they're all going to be the same. So, three out of, how many pieces do we have total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pieces. Next one. Maria prepared five quesadillas. She wants to share them equally among eight of her neighbors. How much quesadilla will each neighbor get? Well, that's so small, but I'll, let's say eight. I'm just going to put eight in here because I cannot draw with make you look. I cannot draw right here to make it look equal. But let's say there's eight here. And we know each friend is going to get one piece of each. So. How many how many pieces is one friend gonna get? One, two, three, four, five. Five pieces or five out of how many pieces do we have total? Eight. We have eight and five. So eight times five is 40. So five out of 40 pieces. Five out of 40 pieces. All right, next one. It says, 
Julia holds a bread baking class. She has four adults and three children in the class. The class will make two loaves of bread. If Julia plans to give each person, including herself, which is huge, guys, an equal part of baked bread, how much bread will each person get? What do we need to find? Simple. How much bread? Each person gets. How much bread each person gets? How will you use what you know about drawing equals to solve the problem? It's simple. They're making two loaves of bread and they're splitting it up between four adults, three children, and herself. So we will draw two loaves, and it's up here if you don't want to spell it, of bread, and split, split and divide is also the same way, same thing, guys. Split into eight pieces, because remember, we have four adults plus three children it's seven and julia so eight people we got to draw a picture to show here's our two loaves split into eight pieces i'm gonna go right like this there's two three four five six seven eight two three four five six Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close enough. So let's say Julia wants this piece. Julia is really only going to get two pieces of loaf bread. Two pieces. Because the three children is going to take these and the four adults is going to take the bottom. If you guys have to pause it right here, let me back it up just a little bit. If you need to pause it right here and get that, right now would be a good time. I'm going to go on. The last question says, Lauren and three friends share three sandwiches equally. How much does each girl get? Well, there's, we break it into thirds. So I'm just going to put three here. Three, three, three. Laura is going to get one out of three pieces, okay? So, could Lauren get one half and one fourth sandwich? No. Could Lauren get three fourths of a sandwich? Oh, Lauren and three. Okay, good. That makes more sense. We got to split this into four. That's why I was getting confused. Lauren and three girls. So, this is going to be spread into four. This will be four. And this will be four. So let's say she gets the top part of each of them. So she's gonna get is she gonna get three fifths? No, because this is not in fifths. Is she gonna get three fourths of a sandwich? Yes. She's gonna get three and they're divided into fourths. She's gonna eat three fourths of a sandwich. Is she going to eat a whole sandwich? No. Is she going to eat one half and one fourth of a sandwich? Yes. Because look, let's say she eats, instead of eating this piece, she eats this piece. So she's already ate half of this piece, and then she's ate one out of four of this piece. This one is a little bit confusing. So we're going to, uh, in class, if you're in class, we're going to go over extensively. And if you're not in class, we're going to come back and go to it, okay? Your practice homework, guys, you guys should be pretty good. Um, they're using like six friends share three sandwiches equally. Well, someone's going to get three sixths, okay? Three sixths of a sandwich. Um, I actually want both answers. So three six, and you could say three 
out of 18. Actually, no, let's go back. Three sixths of a sandwich. I'm going to do this page with you. So down here, it says four teammates share five granola bars. We break this into fourths. So teammate one is going to eat this piece out of all of them. He's actually going to eat one, two, three, four, five, five fourths. Okay, five. We know there's four, eight, 12, 16, there's 24 pieces, but he eats five and they're divided into four. So let's go back to that. So you like even up here, three out of 12 pieces, that's right, but he's actually gonna eat three out of three fourths is what he's gonna eat. Three fourths, because they're divided into fours, even up here. He's gonna he's he's gonna eat four pieces. There's 24 total, but each is split into eighths. So his is, he's gonna actually eat four eighths. Okay, same thing here. He's gonna eat two out of eight pieces or two fourths because they're each split into fours. Same thing here. Two out of six pieces or two thirds. Okay. So uh, let me go back up here. If you need to uh, rewrite this in there, please do, okay? And I'll, I'm gonna actually circle what I, make sure you have. Make sure you have this too. I really wanna see this. Okay, two thirds, two fourths, four eighths, and three fourths. Pause it here real quick and get it. All right, so we're gonna go back down. The bottom, it says, three bro brothers share two sandwiches equally. How much of a sandwich does each person get? So we have two sandwiches, and we're breaking them into three, two, three, two, three. Brother one's gonna eat this piece and this. He's gonna eat two out of thirds. Two thirds is what I want to see, two thirds. Over here, six neighbors share four pies equally. So we have four pies. And instead of dividing them into sixes, because it's going to be hard to do, I'm going to write six in here right now. So we know neighbor, neighbor one's going to get one piece of each. So neighbor one's going to eat four, and they're divided in six. So four sixths. Okay. Or it's four out of six, 12 out of 24. But let's stick with four sixths. Number five, you guys can do by yourself. Um, two friends share three equally. So remember this. Each friend's, friend one is going to eat this. He's going to eat three. And they're divided into halves. Last one. Four brothers share three peaches equally. How much does each brother get? So we're going to divide it into fourths. So we already know we're going to use fourths. And each brother is going to get one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and four, four, four. So brother one is going to eat one, two, three, fourths. Okay. I know, I know at the top they asked for a little bit. I, they kind of worded it different, so I did three out of 12. But I want th they want three, four, so we're going to stick with that, okay? So it's real simple. Um, the total pieces and then what you're dividing them into, okay? That just even makes it easy. You don't have to do any multiplication. All right, you guys have a good one.